Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Welcome back. Well, if you don't like the snow and if you don't like the cold, you're definitely not going to like this forecast because we've got both of those things. And right now out on the sleep tight sky cam, uh, it's the quiet before the storm, mostly clear skies, and it's going to get pretty frigid out there as well as we check out weather graphics. We are going to be talking about uh, the quiet before the storm. Tuesday is going to be when a big winter storm begins to push up from the south into the tri states, bringing with it several inches of snowfall looks like right now, and then that will be followed by yet another Arctic blast if we haven't seen enough of those out across the tri-states. Current temperatures outside right now, uh, bitterly cold where we've had all that snowpack uh, from the snow just a few days ago. We're sitting at about five below in Macomb, one degree up around Fort Madison and about 11 below right now out towards the west in Kirksville. And the forecast as we go through the overnight hours, minus six clear skies and a calm wind, so no wind chill to worry about. And as we go through the day tomorrow, mostly sunny skies and high temperatures reaching up to about 23 degrees. The calm wind sticks with us, but our main focus here throughout the next several days will be this system right now out across the west coast here just off the shore of California here. You can see it just north of Los Angeles and what we think is going to happen is this storm is going to uh, be uh, entering the central plains here as we go through the uh, day on Tuesday and getting towards uh, Wednesday morning up across the Great Lakes and that will bring some significant snowfall accumulations right here across the central parts of the United States and uh, winter weather watches have already been issued by the National Weather Service out of Kansas City for the counties, uh, the far western counties. The forecast offices in St. Louis and the Quad Cities have yet to issue any advisories or watches, but uh, we do think they may be putting one out here within the next several hours as we go through the day tomorrow even. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that, and uh, we will uh, be watching this system very closely. Forecast in motion. We're going to start this at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Nothing's going to be happening here as we go through the day on Monday, but then we get closer out towards the west. That's where the system begins to intrude from the portions of the plains, and we're pretty much under the gun as we go through the day on Tuesday into Tuesday night, and also by the time uh, Wednesday morning rolls around. An expected snowfall. This is a preliminary estimate, but I think it's safe to say uh, maybe around 6 inches, if not a little more here. Uh, there are there is some uh, inconsistency with the models about exactly how much we're going to see, but we'll keep an eye on that for you as well as we go through the next uh, several days. In your seven day forecast, again, calling for the significant winter storm uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night, and early Wednesday before we begin to clear out on winds uh, on uh, your Thursday with another Arctic blast entering the tri states. Uh, high temperatures again, only uh, barely mustering up into the single digits, and we stay cold again throughout the weekend and uh, another shot of some snow. Uh, looks like it could be another interesting weekend next weekend on top of all this that we're getting on Tuesday. Now, why couldn't that storm just stop <laughs> over California? It was made it all. I, I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. I know it's just I think I think it's all about uh, Punxsutawney Phil's forecast. It's just now it's going to come to the tri-states. Just blame it on the ground. I know, right? <laughs> That's take the blame off me, right? There we go. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. Yep.